Henry I of England sired at least 24 illegitimate children. Henry I, 1068 to 1135, earns the dubious distinction of siring more illegitimate children than any other English king. It is unknown exactly how many children Henry produced with his various partners, but nine sons and 15 daughters were recorded. This is in addition to the two legitimate children he had with his first wife, Matilda of Scotland. Henry was not secretive about his affairs and many of the children born from these unions were used to achieve his political ends. Rather than keeping his illegitimate children out of public life, he found advantageous marriages for them. Queen Anne had 17 pregnancies, but only one child survived infancy. Queen Anne, 1665, to 1714 was England's final steward ruler and the monarch responsible for uniting England and Scotland in 1707. Despite her political success, Anne suffered from poor health and her attempts to produce an heir were met with tragedy after tragedy. Various sources place the number of Anne's pregnancies between 17 and 19 from 1684 to 1700. The majority of these cases ended in stillbirths or late miscarriages and two infants perished not long after birth. Two daughters, Mary and Anne Sophia, were born healthy but lost their lives to smallpox before either reached the age of two. Anne had only one child, her son William, who survived beyond infancy. He lived to the age of 11 before perishing either from a bacterial infection or smallpox. Genghis Khan is thought to have 16 million living descendants. Genghis Khan, 1162 to 1227, rose from obscurity becoming one of the most successful, if brutal, conquerors in world history. In 2003, a genetic study revealed that roughly 0.5% of the male population on Earth carry a Y chromosome passed down from one Mongolian individual who lived about 1,000 years ago. This man is believed to be Genghis Khan. During the Khan's aggressive expansion of territory, women from conquered villages would be added to his harem. It is estimated that he fathered more than 1,000 children. Holy Roman Empress Maria Theresa gave birth to 16 children. Maria Theresa, 1717 to 1780, held some impressive titles throughout her royal career, Archduchess of Austria and Queen of Hungary and Bohemia, as well as wife and Empress of the Holy Roman Emperor Francis I. She was a key figure in the power politics of 18th century Europe, one of the most capable Habsburg rulers and called the most human of the Habsburgs. The Empress gave birth to 16 children, 11 daughters and 5 sons. 10 survived into their adult years. Queen Victoria had nine children and 42 grandchildren. Queen Victoria, 1819 
to 19 or 1. Allegedly considered having children the greatest horror. Despite her misgivings, she and her husband, Prince Albert, would raise nine children together, all of whom lived into their adult years. Victoria's brood would marry into the various royal families of Europe, producing 42 grandchildren and earning Victoria the moniker of Grandmother of Europe. Her descendants can still be found among present-day royalty. Charles II had zero official heirs and at least 14 illegitimate children. As far as royal nicknames go, you can do a lot worse than the Merry Monarch. That was the handle of Charles II, 1630 to 1685, who was noted for being flamboyant, witty and fun and considered he'd survived not only one exile, but also the Great Plague and the Great Fire of London, he probably figured he deserved it. Charles had no children with his wife, Catherine of Braganza, but sired at least 14 illegitimate offspring, with more than a dozen mistresses. The total number of his illegitimate children is most likely higher. Charles, like most monarchs, made sure his illegitimate offspring were taken care of with titles and with soft jobs. Kiran, Queen of Armenia, bore 15 or 16 children. There isn't much information publicly available. She bore 15 children during her marriage to Prince Leo of Armenia. Princess Maria Elizabeth of Bavaria had 12 children. Maria Elizabeth was the daughter of Prince Franz of Bavaria the third son of Bavarian's king, Ludwig III, and married Prince Pedro Henrique of Orleans Braganza in 1937. Due to the politics of the time, this gave her the awkward title of Pretender Empress Consort of Brazil, and together the couple had 12 children. Queen Charlotte of mecklenburg strelitz had 15 children. Charlotte married King George III in September 1761. Together, the couple ruled both Britain and Ireland until 1801, when they officially became King and Queen of the United Kingdom. The couple had 15 children overall, 14 of which were born in the newly purchased Buckingham House, later Buckingham Palace. Charlotte was responsible for the purchase of Frogmore House in 1792 as a country retreat for her unmarried daughters. Edward I had at least 19 children, England's King Edward I, 1239 to 1307, was known as both Longshanks and Hammer of the Scots. The former because he was tall, the latter because of his war with Scotland. To settle a land dispute, Edward was married to Eleanor of Castile in 1254. Though their marriage had been a political alliance, Edward and Eleanor became deeply attached and had 16 children together. Unfortunately, several of these children did not survive infancy. Edward had another three children with his second wife, Margaret of France. James II of England had 27 children. James II of England and 7th of Scotland, 1633 to 1701, 
had eight children with his first wife, Anne Hyde. His second wife, Mary of Modena, was pregnant 12 times. Sadly, eight ended in stillbirth or miscarriage. Two died in childhood and two, James Prince of Wales, the Old Pretender, and Louise Maria Theresa, survived to adulthood. He had four children with his mistress, Arabella Churchill, who all survived to adulthood, and he had another three with his mistress, Catherine Sedley, two survived to adulthood. And this concludes the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button, give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe for future videos. Thank you.